Hello and welcome to this short video where we introduce CSS. This is a very basic introduction where we will be learning how to apply CSS to this number of elements. We will be covering internal styles, ID based styles, class based styles and element based styles in a very simple way. As I said, this is a very basic introduction and will carry over from the upcoming videos. So, I have created a HTML5 application. It's called Applying CSS and I'll press Next. Next. I won't be adding any libraries as yet. And there, I press Finish. The project has been created. Notepad has created this project and has made a file called index.html. It's created a default file for me. I'll rename the title, change the title, write applying CSS. Now, I'll make a heading over here, H1 and write inline style. Now, let us view the page in a browser. Run the file. There you are, we get inline style. Now I'll write the style over here, see, this is h1, style is equal to background dash color, let's say I'll make it green, color yellow, so the page will be displayed. Uh, the heading will be displayed in green and the text color will be yellow. Background color sets the background color obviously and color sets the text color. There we are, we got inline style. Now I'll make another H1 and give it a ID. H1. This is via ID. Now, let's give it a ID. ID is equal to, I've written H1. Now, I'll define a style for this using the style tag. Style. Now, for an element which has ID H1, the style would be hash H1. Open the curly bracket and close it. Then we'll write it. Background dash color, make it yellow this time. Color green. It's the opposite of the previous one. Watch it. This one is an inline style and this way I did it via ID. Now we'll make a CSS class. CSS class are defined using dot. So I'll make a new class dot red background color blue. How do you define it? Background dash color red and color blue. 
Now, I'll define another H1 and write plus is equal to red background color blue. Give the class of the name, uh, name of the class. This is via class. I saved it. We have it now. See, this is by a class. Then you can define using elements. Let's say I define style for P. P stands for paragraph. And we'll come up with a combination. Background dash color teal. Color white. Now, I'll write P. This is a paragraph. P. This is another paragraph. Leave it here. See. And for the rest, you can go to my site, chumpaxworld.com, and you get more lessons over there. Thank you.